I wish you a very happy Easter. From my family to yours, I pray that it's a wonderful holiday for you to celebrate the risen Jesus Christ. And also, today I want to share with you a gift. So many of you do not receive our positive daily inspiration emails by computer every morning. Well, there's never a charge. This is not a one-time gift. This is a forever gift. Try it. Go to our homepage, www.positivechristianity.org, and there you'll see a way to sign up. And if you like it, well, keep it. If you don't, you can unsubscribe at any time. It's non-denominational, and uh, many people, a lot of people, like it every day. In Matthew 28, 1 through 10, it says, After the Sabbath, at dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone, and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay, and then quickly go and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead, and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid and yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples, and suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, they clasped his feet, they worshipped him, and then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid, go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, there they will see me. Easter says that you can put truth in a grave, but it won't stay there. Easter is not a time for groping through dusty, musty tombs to disprove or to prove life eternal. No tomb can hold divine life. It is a day to fan the ashes of dead hope, a day to banish doubts and seek the slopes where the sun is rising, to reveal in the faith which transports us out of ourselves and the dead past into the vast, inviting, unknown. Easter is a demonstration of God that life is essentially spiritual and timeless. The story of Easter is a story of God's wonderful window of divine surprise. I personally love the quote by Herbert Booth Smith that says Christianity begins where religion ends, with the resurrection. Spirituality cannot be confined within the four walls of a church, but only within the heart of the individual. To truly experience Easter, it must be felt within one's soul. When you carry a belief that no tomb of negativity can hold you down, you follow Jesus Christ. When you carry a belief that you can rise again, you follow Jesus Christ. When you carry a belief that no former crucifixion of yesterday can hold power over you today, you follow Jesus Christ. My friend, I pray that you have a glorious Easter.